In The Art of War, there's a quote that says, to secure ourselves against defeat lies in our own hands. But the opportunity of defeating the enemy is provided by the enemy themselves. If you think about the opportunity of defeating the enemy is provided by the enemy themselves, it's basically look at the opening they give you. When you look at Kamai, if I stand like this, you'll see the middle meridian. But if I stand like this, you don't see as many things. You, there's, there's not as many openings. This holds true whether it's fighting, business, negotiation. They're going to give you an opening. If I throw a punch, if I have the perfect stance, doesn't matter how good I'm standing, as soon as I open myself up for a punch, I have opened myself up for attack. So as soon as someone makes a move, again, business, personal, private, professional, negotiation, it doesn't matter. As soon as they open themselves up, they've now opened up an opportunity to be defeated. So don't go after something you want. Take advantage of what the enemy gives you. Take advantage of the situation. If they're gonna defend this, then you go for this. If they're defending this, you go for this. Everyone sees these different, like you'll see like in Buddhism, there's like 12 universal laws and there's another religion that has like 14 universal laws and then there's the eight universal laws of this theory and traditional, what we're doing, there's 36, which is aligned to the Tenchi Jin, that kind of thing. So there's 36 universal kind of things and pretty much the 36, everyone else is either picking eight of them or 12 of them or 10 of them or those 36 to the 30, it's kind of like law of gravity. It exists, whether you like it or not, it exists. You know what I'm saying? It's like you just don't get away from certain particular things. And you guys have probably heard a lot of them, right? Law of gravity, law of vibration, law of attraction, law of da 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 da, da right? Some people, we use law of in English. We know that law is like po, so nin po, the law of this, kim po, law of fist, fist law kind of thing, right? We know that po, is law. There are lots of those, right? There is a particular method that I want you guys to think about, and it's called reversing the flow or reversing the energy. In Taoism, there's, a, there's one of these 36 also found in Taoism, but that particular path or way, um, it's called Wu Wei. It basically translates out as non-action, but what it, it also means like non-action, no action, reverse action, move away from action. There's different ways of using the concept, but let me explain it a little bit. You take something so far to where you've exhausted every option. And once you've exhausted the option and you know that it's not going any way, anywhere, you have to let go of that option, Wu Wei, the no option or the reverse option to then get the objective that you're looking for. So I wanna paint a picture. I want you guys to imagine a puddle and the puddle has two sticks in the puddle, okay? And the puddle's a foot and a half deep, two feet deep, two sticks. And you're going to spin your hand around that thing as much as you can to create a whirlpool. You're going to get the energy going one way, and your objective is to get both sticks to flow with the energy. Everything's going the right way. One stick starts flowing. You get going and going. There's one stick. You're not touching the sticks. You're just creating the opportunity. You're creating the energy for it to flow. One stick goes, and no matter how much you turn that damn puddle this way, the stick isn't moving. The only thing that's happening is the mud that's at the bottom of it starts coming up. You have no idea why the stick isn't moving when the other stick did. So the concept of Wu Wei, or reversing action, is instead of creating resistance of the flow and saying, well, fuck it then, I'm going to go this way, which gives nothing but a crash. An example of that in a fight would be something like, well, fuck you then, I'm not going to talk to you. Man. <laughs> <laughs> that would be the... That would be the you're getting the flow, and then someone's like, ah. So that would be the wrong reverse. That's a creating this. You don't want to create that. What you want to do is as you're flowing, and you see it going, and one's not, you stop. You keep that still going. Because sooner or later, that flow's going to go. Now, earlier we talked about perception's a matter of perspective. When the mud settles to the bottom of the water, the water becomes clear, you can then see why that stick wasn't moving. You move why that stick wasn't moving, you start to flow again. And then both sticks start flowing the same path. Sometimes the objective, when we talk about, example, to secure ourselves against defeat lies in our own hands, okay? You do this, and you want, you're going this way, and you're like, well, fuck it, I'm just gonna be an asshole. It's not good. But if you do this, the opportunity of defeating the enemy is provided by the enemy themselves. Stop. 
So let this sizzle it out, let it fall, and then you see why it's not moving. The supreme art of war is to subdue the enemy without fighting. If you're going to create the energy, you don't want to go against the energy that you just created. You want to maintain that same energy, or the same direction. Because you can change a path, but you're still going the same direction. You follow me with that one? There's another quote from the Hagakure, which I think is very good. It says, victory comes from finding opportunities within problems. I want to say that again, because it's, 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 it's very important. Victory comes from finding opportunities within problems. Someone speaks, there's an opportunity. If they're talking to you, there's an opportunity. If they're inter moving or interacting with you, there's an opportunity. Where is the opportunity? 